Hello and welcome to the Edexcel GCSE New Star Grades 9 through 1 paper. This is the first paper in the foundation tier. It's entitled 1MA1 slash 1F and we're picking up in question 28. Here is a parallelogram. Work out the values or work out the value of x and the value of y. Okay, so let's have a brief recap on what a parallelogram is. It's a quadrilateral, and right there you should know that that means all four interior angles add up to 360 degrees. Uh, this line is the same length as this line, this line is the same length as this line, and these two lines must, must be parallel. So these two, these two lines are parallel, and these two lines are parallel. Okay, what about angles? Well, one of the rules of a parallelogram is that consecutive angles, that's angles that are joined by a side, must add up to 180 degrees. And I'm going to try and make that intuitive for you. If I extend this line here, Now we remember that this line here is parallel to this line here. But if I extend this line here as well, it should be clear that if this line is parallel to this line, then the angle here, I'm going to try and draw in this angle, this angle here has to be the same angle as this angle here because these lines are parallel and that's a straight line. So therefore this angle and this angle have to add up to 180 degrees. And since this angle and this angle are on the same line here, again if I extended that line it should be clear that this angle and this angle will also add up to 180 degrees. So that's one of the truths of a parallelogram is that consecutive angles add up to 180 degrees. And that brings me to the other truth. If this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees, and this angle plus this angle is 180 degrees, and since this angle hasn't changed, then this angle and this angle must be equal to each other. And that is another truth of the um, properties of a parallelogram is that opposite angles are the same, or we say opposite angles are congruent. Okay, so if we know that these two angles are the same, then we know that 5x minus 20 is equal to 2x plus 43. Let's just manipulate this a little bit algebraically and get all the x terms on the left and all the number terms on the right. So we've got 5x. I'm subtracting 2x from both sides. And I'm going to add 20 to both sides. Okay, so that means if we combine these uh, length, these um, terms, that makes 3x is equal to 63. Dividing both sides by 3x is equal to 21. So we now know our x is 21 degrees. We're halfway there. Uh, we also remember that these two angles add up to 180 degrees. So, and this time we know what x is equal to. So 5 times 21 minus 40, sorry, minus 20. plus 4y minus 5 times 21 
is equal to 180 degrees. Okay, well, that is a minus 5x there. Well, first of all, we've got 5 times 21 here, and we've got minus 5 times 21 here, so these can just be disappeared appeared they can they cancel each other out we don't even need to figure out what 5 times minus 21 is, 5 times 21 is so we've got minus 20 plus 4y is equal to 180 degrees moving that minus 20 over to the other side so we've got 4y is equal to 180 degrees plus because I'm adding 20 to both sides, plus 20. So that means 4y is equal to 200. So y is equal to 200 divided by 4, so y is equal to 50 degrees. And that's all there is to it. I hope that was helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.